Saturday, November 26th, maybe, don't know, I know it's Saturday, uh, this is my old 30 plus year old uh, porta van, Milwaukee, heavy duty, deep throat, um, my cord was going bad, and I guess after 30 years I got my money's worth. It was degraded up here on this end going into the handle and I taped it up see where it's just dry and fractured on the outer wrap not the best looking cord in the world this end a little funky too it's a 30 year old cord anyway my old buddy Amazon had a replacement cord. I think it was 10 bucks. Just a Bergen nine foot power cord. A high amp cord. The wiring on it was bigger than the wiring on the one that came off the saw. Let's see here. I don't know, 15 or 20 amps. It's a high amp, big wire cord. Nine foot long, good length. Everything looks pretty good, got a nice feel to it. Uh, so anyway, I replaced the cord, no big deal. I've got this wiring connector kit. I've had for probably 10 years. Better than that, probably. And I bought it from a local supply house. Klein tools. Nice thing about the kit. Obviously, when one of my little bin starts getting low, I go to the electrical supply house uh, or one of the big box stores and just buy a, a packet of the fittings I need and just keep refilling it. Uh, downright handy. Uh, normally, I keep this in my truck. Easy way not to lose it. It fits in the floorboard in the rear, and uh, I like that. And I bought some shelf brackets, Amazon. They even came with the screws. And they're light duty. This is what they look like. Two bucks a pop. And I got plenty of them. And uh, remounted. My camera shelf. It looks like it's kind of leading outboard just a little bit, but they ain't gonna fall off. Plenty of screws in it. And uh, I got a bunch of extension cords to fix. When I had my factory, they'd have a bad extension cord, and I just bring it down here to this little building. For some reason, they always cut off the ground plug. It's a Mexican thing, I don't understand it. And they were notorious about jerking the cord when unplugging it, instead of reaching up and grabbing it where they're supposed to to unplug it without tearing up the cord. And some of them, they've been run over by the fork truck. Nothing you can do there unless you want a whole bunch of little bitty short cords. Usually, the ends are bad. So I got two or three down here. I'm going to uh, put on some replacement ends. I got some decent quality ones. It's stupid simple. That man, there ain't nothing to it. Come on in. Got the males and got the females. Hey, how are you? Yeah. I don't know if you remember me or not. But no. I was working 